So I bought this DR650. It's a great bike, but it needs some maintenance and some modifications before we could take it on any adventures. The first thing we need to address is this chain. It just makes a lot of noise and it's toast. I also got new sprockets. The chain and the sprockets all came in a kit. Let's start by getting this rear wheel removed. I always lay out all the parts in the order they go in, so they're easier to find when I put it back together. This axle's a little stiff. I put the nut back on before I hit it, so I don't damage the threads. I'll be replacing this sprocket with a 44 tooth. I know it probably looks funny the way this moves around, but it's supposed to, it's a cush drive. Next we'll have to replace the front sprocket. We'll have to remove a few things to get to it. Now we'll just remove the three bolts and the retainer and the sprocket comes right off. I'm putting a 14 tooth sprocket on the front. It should give me better lower end torque for all these mountain climbs around here. Now we just install the retainer and the three bolts with some blue Loctite and it's ready to go. Torque them down good and tight. Now it's time to reinstall the rear wheel so we can fit the chain. I decided to go with a gold chain. I thought it would look good with the green. Your chain also comes with a master link. You'll need a tool to do this, but we'll go over that in another video. The great thing about this kit is the chain is already cut to length. All we have to do is install the master link.
The next mod is these foot peg relocator brackets. They move them one inch down and one inch back. If I could figure out which way they go on. Finally, that seems to be the right way. Don't forget your cotter pins. Now we'll do the other side. Now we should be able to fit those big motocross boots underneath that shifter. Next we'll add some storage so we have somewhere to put all our camping gear when we go moto camping. I got three of these cases from Harbor Freight. They work great for this. They're watertight and very durable. I'm mounting it to this luggage rack that came on the bike. I'll start by centering the box and then marking the holes. Now I'll just drill them out. Now we'll just bolt it down. Now the side ones are really cool. They have a quick release. All we have to do is bolt these backing plates to the boxes. Alright, let's see how they fit. Like a glove. Now it looks like an adventure bike. Hey, you want to go on an adventure with me? Alright, let's pull this fairing off and change these turn signals out. While it's off, I'm going to get it professionally painted. Alright, that looks factory. I'm installing the same lights that I put on the TW. Much better. My next mod is the chain guard. The stock one is plastic and is mostly decorative. The new one actually protects the case. It's common for broken chains to break the case on these bikes. 
Now the final task, replacing the grips. It's best just to cut the old ones off, they're worn out anyway. An air compressor makes easy work of the install. Alright, that should do it. Let's take these bikes out on a test ride. Well, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to join us next time as we take these adventure bikes to a place where all adventure bike riders go. You won't want to miss it on the Maker Hack Shack.